Welcome to the world of small town charm and witty humor with the 1982 TV series New Heart. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a favorite TV show that left an indelible mark on your memory? Perhaps New Heart holds a special place in your heart, prompting the question, do you have a cherished memory associated with this classic sitcom? Or maybe there's a particular scene or moment that has lingered in your mind, shaping your perspective on comedy. As we delve into the realm of Newhart, let's explore some random facts about the show that might just spark a trip down memory lane. Created by Barry Kemp, the series stars Bob Newhart as Dick Loudon, an innkeeper in the quirky town of Stratford, Vermont. The comedic ensemble, coupled with its clever writing, contributed to the show's enduring appeal. Now, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Newhart. Whether it's a laugh-out-loud moment or a heartwarming scene, we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and connect with fellow fans who have their own tales to tell. After all, the magic of television often lies in the shared experiences it creates. So, join the conversation and let the nostalgia flow. What's your new heart story? Share it with us and let's celebrate the timeless joy this series has brought into our lives. In the TV series, Larry, Daryl, and Daryl, characters known for their philosophical musings likely derive their names from W. Somerset Maugham's book The Razor's Edge. The main character in the book, Larry Daryl, embarks on a global journey in search of life's meaning. Throughout the show, Bob Newhart subtly references his previous series, The Bob Newhart Show, poking fun at Dr. Robert Hartley's quirks. However, these references never offer hints about the series finale. A peculiar detail is Larry's consistent accessory, a quarter in his ear. This prop, also used by William Sanderson in Coal Miner's Daughter, adds a distinctive touch to Larry's character. These nuances contribute to the layers of humor and depth in the show. While Larry, Daryl, and Daryl ponder life's meaning, Bob Newhart weaves connections to his past work, and Larry's quirky habit adds a unique touch to the character. These subtle elements showcase the thoughtfulness put into crafting the characters and storyline in the 1982 TV series Newhart. They serve as interesting tidbits for fans and contribute to the show's enduring appeal. The TV series Newhart underwent a notable shift in production methods. Initially, the first season was videotaped, but subsequent episodes were filmed, signifying a change in the show's visual style. This transition likely influenced the overall atmosphere and aesthetics of the series as it progressed. The alteration from videotaping to filming is a key aspect that sheds light on the production dynamics of the show. Interestingly, the characters Daryl and Daryl had a different moniker in the original plan. Originally, they were both named Larry. This name change was not just for creative reasons, but served a practical purpose avoiding confusion both at home and at obedience school. This choice in character naming reflects a thoughtful decision that could have had ripple effects on the dynamics and humor within the show. Moreover, there's a regional detail that sparked local concerns. Residents of Vermont voiced complaints about the opening scenes, asserting that they depicted New Hampshire instead of Vermont. This geographical discrepancy might have stirred conversations among viewers, highlighting the significance of accurate location portrayal in television production. In summary, the evolution from videotaping to filming, the deliberate renaming of characters for clarity, and the regional accuracy concerns offer insights into the intricacies of the 1982 series Newhart. These details contribute to the broader understanding of the show's development, creative choices, and its reception among viewers. Larry's character in the 1982 TV series Newhart took an interesting turn during casting. Originally written for Tracy Walter, the role eventually went to William Sanderson after auditions. This casting decision played a crucial role in shaping Larry's quirky persona on the show. Another intriguing detail comes from Mary Fran, who portrayed Joanna Loudon. She went the extra mile for authenticity, visiting Vermont inns to research and bringing back false craft dishes as props for the Stratford Inn scenes. This attention to detail added a touch of realism to the show's setting. In the final episode, a surprising revelation unfolded. The entire series was unveiled as a dream of Robert Hartley, played by Bob Newhart. This concept originated during season six, reflecting Newhart's frustration with CBS's constant time slot changes. The twist provided an unexpected conclusion to the series, leaving fans with a unique and memorable finale. 
These behind-the-scenes insights into casting choices, set details, and the unexpected plot twist shed light on the thoughtfulness and creativity behind the making of Newhart. Each element, from character development to set props, contributed to the show's distinct charm and enduring appeal among viewers. The opening credits of the series showcase scenic shots of Sandwich, New Hampshire, with aerial views capturing Maple Street and landmarks like Sandwich Town Hall and the Grange Hall. The car traverses Skinner Street and turns onto Church Street, setting the stage for the quaint setting of the show. This deliberate choice in location provides a visual backdrop that resonates throughout the series. The attention to detail in capturing the essence of the small town contributes to the overall charm and authenticity of the show's atmosphere. The picturesque scenes from Sandwich, New Hampshire, not only serve as a backdrop, but also play a significant role in shaping the viewer's perception of the series, establishing a connection between the on-screen events and the chosen location. This nuanced approach to the opening credits reflects the thoughtfulness behind the production and contributes to the enduring appeal of the 1982 TV series. In the quiet town where the Vermont Inn stood, a peculiar detail remained unspoken throughout the eight-year run of the series. The name of the community, nestled in the picturesque setting, was never uttered. A deliberate choice by the creators, this omission added an air of mystery to the show's backdrop. Viewers were left to focus on the quirky characters and their unfolding stories rather than the specific locale. The absence of a named town became an intriguing aspect of the series, allowing the audience to immerse themselves in the charm of the Vermont Inn without being tethered to a particular place. This intentional decision, echoing throughout each episode, subtly contributed to the show's unique appeal and the enduring allure of the 1982 TV series. In a surprising twist, despite the dream revelation in the final episode, characters from New Heart made unexpected appearances in various episodes of Coach, another series created by Barry Kemp. Books authored by Dick Loudon and the peculiar trio of Larry, Daryl, and Daryl found their way into the Coach storyline, creating a unique crossover within the TV universe. This unexpected connection adds an intriguing layer to the narrative, showcasing the creative intertwining of characters across different shows. The seamless integration of Newhart elements into Coach provides fans with an unexpected link between two distinct series, offering a fresh perspective on the shared universe crafted by Barry Kent. The unconventional crossover serves as a testament to the creativity and continuity within the TV landscape. As the curtains gently fall on our stroll down memory lane, I can't help but marvel at the timeless charm of that 1982 gem that's etched itself into the fabric of television history. With its quaint setting and delightful characters, New Heart was more than just a show. It was a portal to a simpler time, a warm embrace in the world of entertainment. Now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Take a moment to reflect on the laughter it stirred, the characters who found a cozy corner in your heart, and the episodes that painted smiles on your face. What's your personal connection to this small screen masterpiece? Share your fondest memories, your favorite quips, or the scenes that still make you chuckle after all these years. In this shared appreciation, we knit together a tapestry of nostalgia, each thread weaving a unique story. Your thoughts are the missing piece, the anecdotal spark that keeps the legacy alive. So drop a comment, send a message, or even pen down your musings. Let's celebrate the magic of New Heart together. Thank you for joining this retrospective journey. Your time and interest in reliving those cherished moments mean the world. Here's to the show that's more than a sitcom, but a cherished chapter in our collective TV history.